Hello from Oldenburg. Today we want to revisit the topic of engine control with you. It's about wet timing belts. In addition, we also have a question. What does this hook have to do with it? Classically, we know the timing chain running in fluid and a dry timing belt. Today, more and more manufacturers are starting to use wet timing belts. This means a timing belt that runs in an oil bath. But why is that? The manufacturers imagine that it is possible to generate a smoother running of the engines. In addition, where is to be reduced and the interval between timing belt changes extended. With this engine, the timing belt was initially to be replaced every 180,000 kilometers. However, the interval time has been reduced. Unfortunately, practice has shown that there are some problems with this system. We will show you that today. Now let's take a look at the hook. This is a test blank for measuring the width of the timing belt. If incorrect fluid or other problems have affected the timing belt, it will become wider. This distance between the two lugs then no longer fits over the toothed belt. Let's put the hook on and check this. I'll show this again in the dismantled state, because I have a defective timing belt here. Here you can see that it doesn't fit. I can't get the recess over the belt. For comparison, I have a new timing belt. The gap fits perfectly. Another problem with the timing belt. Here you can see how the timing belt is already coming apart and is badly torn. For comparison, here is the new timing belt, where you can see a closed rubber cover. Now we have a solution for this problem. Our expert kit. We have everything the mechanic needs in one box to renew the timing belt. First of all, of course, the timing belt, then all the other attachments such as seals or the flat belt for the water pump. Then a gasket, an oil filter, the pulleys for the timing belt and all the appropriate screws. And of course the right engine oil. Here we have the V220887 for engines without turbocharger. For the turbocharged engine we also have the expert kit, of course. This is item V220886. In addition to the danger of a broken timing belt and thus capital engine damage, there is also the danger that the particles that come off the timing belt get stuck in the sieves of the vacuum pump and the oil pump via the oil circuit. With the oil pump there is a risk of insufficient lubrication of the engine and with the vacuum pump there is a risk of insufficient brake power assistance. The timing belt has already been replaced on this vehicle. But now there is a problem when cold and also when idling, this engine runs very rough. We have a guess as to what the problem may be. As we suspected, we see a completely contaminated and stuffed oil sieve. Here, during idling or cold starts, not enough fluid comes through the strainer to supply the engine sufficiently. Here you can see the particles. These are the detachments from the timing belt that have settled through the oil circuit up to here in front of the sieve. 
Of course, not enough fluid can get through. With this type of damage, we recommend replacing the oil pump, as it can be damaged by insufficient lubrication. In addition, the vacuum pump should also be checked and replaced. Very good. Runs like clockwork. Small cause, big effect. That's it on the subject of wet timing belts, here using the PureTech 1.2 liter engine as an example. We have other kits for timing chains and timing belts in our range. Did you like the video? Give us a thumbs up. Do you have any questions or suggestions? Send us a comment and subscribe to the channel.